Ooh, look at this guys, two Dakota RTs. Oh, you guys are in for a good video today. She's off. All right, now drive it forward. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to today's video. And today we got something special for you guys. We have another Dodge Dakota RT. So we got Jason's truck, we're starting the build. This is gonna be a long series, but it's here. This is it. Jason, what, what kind of hood is on this thing? Custom? That is a stock hood with a six pack scoop on it. Oh really? So they molded this themselves? Yep. So it's got a custom hood on it. Um, that was, it was wrapped orange and he decided to take it off, right? So he took off all the orange wrap. We're gonna end up doing something different. I don't know if it's gonna get painted, repainted, cause um, this thing has low miles, Jason was telling me, but it got kind of baked in the California sun. So black paint, Dodge wasn't really known for their good paint back then. So it's only got- Typical Mopar peel. Right. All the, all the trucks in the, this era do that. Oh, I know, even mine's got it too. So mine's got the same problem, but definitely black in California sun, it, uh, it baked the clear off it. So um, it's clean title, so it's uh, it's a straight body and everything. It probably just needs a, a good, you know, recoat or re-clear and all that stuff. So probably just a new paint job on this thing. But we got a bunch of stuff to show you guys. It's got different mirrors on it. It's got RT seats out of a Durango, you said, right? Yeah, it was a Durango RT. So it's got those. Yeah, those. Those were in there when I bought it. Oh, you already got the boost gauge, man. Yeah, <laughs> I, I bought somebody else's project. And, uh, I think Chad, there's Chad's there's probably going to watch this too, right? Chad had it all hooked up already. And then he brought the set of wheels he's going to rock on this thing. So I think you guys saw these wheels. We kind of test fitted them on this, but they're going to go on this truck, I believe. And yeah, he's got some new rubber for it. A bunch of parts, you guys. He's got uh, one of these intakes that I think hooks up to this. So My car is full of the uh, engine parts. Oh yeah, so he's got all sorts of stuff. So we'll get into it, um, you know, in this whole video, you guys, and exactly the build. SRT Viper, so SRT10 Viper wheels, since they're the Viper bolt pattern, but they look identical to SRT10 Ram rims that came on my truck at one point. But anyways, we have to push this thing up the driver right now because it's not running. We'll once we get it in the garage, <laughs> we'll pop the hood and we'll show you. But these things are a lot heavier than they look, and the driveway's not on that much of a slant. But trust me, it's a uh, it's a pig. So we're gonna push it up. Two hours later. <laughs> that was a pain in the ass, but she's in the garage. We gotta move it over a little bit, but I'm telling you guys, they're not as light as they look. Okay, so the beast is in here. We pushed it up, and this is where we're starting off. So the kegger's already removed. Uh, accessories sitting here, um, removed obviously. It's just kind of hanging out here. We just transported it that way. Battery's out, um, and you can kind of see the state it's in. So what we're gonna do is, uh, you, he's decided he doesn't want AC. I think he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being a girl and telling, telling him I want AC back in mind, but he's, uh, he's going full sand. He said he doesn't need AC. So we're gonna do the same. If you guys followed my last build where we did the cam on mine, we're doing the cam on this one. Um, just quickly off the top, I'll explain to you guys what this one's gonna get. So he's got a, a boost cam, right? Yeah. A cam that's or boost friendly. Very boost friendly. And he's got uh, Indy X heads. Yes, 202. So two, 202 valve, so it's got a oversized valve in it. Um, is it ported too or no? Uh, minor work. Minor it's, port yeah, work? It's, it's not, not, nothing big. Okay, and then 1.6 rockers, right? 1.6 rockers. And then also, what else are we doing to it? Got that. That's that's, that's it for the top end. Right? take mids on it already. Oh yeah, that's right. So it's got the adapter plates with the spin tech headers on there, and then we're gonna do the Hughes air gap on this, and uh, ported stock throttle body, right? Yeah. I think that's gonna be it for now, and then we're probably gonna. Yeah. Just to get it, just to get running. Back up and running. Back up to running, and at least so. We got a whole bunch of other things to sort out. Yeah. Suspension is uh, not, not not real friendly. Yeah, so he's not kidding when he says that. So, um, he's got like I said the SRT10 Viper wheels on here. He's got the uh, spacers on there. It looks like two inch spacers or inch and a half or something. But he's got the these are the DJM right? Yeah, DJM three inch drop arms with cut stock coils. So see how low that is? Like it's weird the way those DJMs work. It literally 
goes almost lower than the actual truck you can see right there so this thing is insanely low like the back is he doesn't have a c-notch in the back and it is just on the frame right now so there's like nothing this is literally just framed out so <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do some stuff with suspension. The focus of today is we're gonna see how far we can get on the cam install. Um, we do have to, oh, so once we put the heads on, we gotta measure the push rods. So we're kind of in a race against time. So we're gonna try to, um, well, not that we're in a race against time, but we wanna try and get the engine running as soon as possible so that we can move this thing. Cause if you guys know, these things suck to try to push, so. We're gonna try and get the cam in, heads on, so we can measure the push rods, so we can get them ordered. Cause obviously we don't have that spec or we don't know what size they're gonna be. So we gotta get them ordered so that we can get that going while people light off fireworks, so. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, that's the purpose of today's video. So we're gonna rip this thing apart. I'm gonna rip the rad outs, uh, AC condenser, clean everything up that's just kind of dangling here and then we'll get cracking, so let's go. where we're at you guys so um this we're trying to get out but we can't get it out because this uh, electric fans on it and there's kind of these one time deals where these you know zip ties or whatever you want to call them the ties that hold that on we don't have new ones so i'm taking off the water pump so i can clear the fan shroud off of here so i've got the water pump off but i still have to get the lower rad hose and i'm trying to do that because on this he has the additional cooler for the transmission on the front and there's a push to connect fitting down there or like whatever you call it those quick connect fittings you can see i have the white tool on it but i can't seem to get my hands down in there or neither of us can so i'm gonna pull off the water pump so i can get this out of here and then hopefully we can get that connection off off the transmission so that we can pull the rat out So I got that out of there. I took off the water pump. Uh, I also talk, ugh, I can't talk. I also took off the uh, belt tensioner and we got it off. I don't know if I show you guys this, but she's been uh, parked for a while and that looks nasty. So the actual water pump is like seized up. So she does not look good. So we're definitely gonna get a new water pump. We're just hoping that it's not gonna be uh, any issues inside. We're gonna pull the heads anyway. So. I don't even know what you would do. We are talking about that, like what you would clean it with inside the block. So there's a way of flushing it, but we'll definitely be flushing it with uh, with water a few times just to get all this crap out of here. So hopefully the block isn't as nasty inside. But anyways, we're gonna keep going. So I can yank this right now. So I'm gonna pull this out. I did manage to get my hands in here to get this uh, quick connect off here. So I got that transmission line off. So both are off and I can lift this guy out. All right, guys, rad is out, and the AC's already drained anyways. I just checked it, so I'm just going to start disconnecting it, taking out the condenser and all that stuff. We'll get the compressor out of here, the canister, all the lines, and we'll just clear the way for what we got to do. And then I can start getting into here and all that stuff while Jason takes off the headers. So we took off the valve cover on the driver's side. We're doing the passenger side now. Uh, spin tech headers are all loose, but it looks like uh, we're gonna have to take them out completely so that we can get to the bolts on the bottom side of the head too. So we'll get her done and we'll resume here in a minute. Okay guys, it's actually day two. We got a late start yesterday. Uh, I just went underneath or we went underneath and we disconnected the collectors on both sides. So we should be able to get this out on the top. So Jason's gonna grab that one because we still have to get at those head bolts. So there's one spin tech, and then it's got the adapter plates we'll have to take off, and then hopefully this one comes out as well from this side. Oh, there she is. She is out. All right, so headers are off. The 
Adapter plates are on the ground. I don't think we're gonna need them with the new heads. But right now, Jason's just cracking all the head bolts loose, and then uh, you get yourself cracking my knuckles, cracking knuckles, and <laughs> cracking head bolts. <laughs> And then once he cracks them loose, I'm gonna just use the air gun and we'll zip them the rest of the way off with the air ratchet. And then, yeah, we'll pull both heads and then front cover and we'll start getting down to the meat and potatoes of this thing and we can put the cam in and stuff. Okay guys, so the heads are loose. We got all the bolts removed. Really isn't uh, too much to see there. So this head looks like it's already ready to go. So I'm gonna give it a yank, see if she comes out. Oh. oh yeah. Yeah, just have to go straight up because of the push rods. Yep. Yep. We're gonna leave everything assembled since we're just putting new heads on it. We don't need to take any of this stuff with it. We got, got her. There she is. You got that wire. Get the wire on the way. Sweet. She's off. Let's see. Get the, uh, all the harness there. You get it? Yep, you're out. Those things are not light. No way. Alright. Okay, so current status, both heads are off. We took the head gaskets off, removed all the push rods. So I'll take off the pulley, and then I'll use a puller and I'll take off this. I'm probably gonna set this to TDC. It doesn't really matter. Uh, once we get this off, we're gonna have to go dot to dot on the actual uh, timing set. So either way, let's start ripping it apart. Okay, so like I said, not that it really matters, but number one's at TDC. Our marks are lined up here on the cam cover and our harmonic balancer. And on our distributor, if you remove the cap, this is pointing at number one here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, I'm gonna remove that pulley and then we'll get that harmonic balancer off. Okay, now we'll remove the front cover, so just take off all the bolts. This one also has a power steering cooler, so we'll have to remove that out of our way as well. All right guys, front cover is off. Jason's just pulling out all the lifters, the old ones. We got brand new ones that are gonna go in. And if you guys have one of these, look at stock chain. Look how loose that thing is. It's just dancing. I mean, they work, but. So what we're gonna end up doing is I'm gonna turn this thing over until we get dot to dot, which uh, is almost there actually. So just a tiny bit more, it looks like. Um, I think it actually might've rolled over a tiny bit, but anyways, we'll go dot to dot on this thing and then we'll pull off the timing set and pull the cam out. Okay, so right now we're just gonna pull the distributor out since we're lined up. Um, like I said, it's at number one, so we're where we wanna be or need to be. So I'll take out the bracket for the distributor. And do you wanna yank that straight up? Oh. There she is. She did not want to <laughs> She's out. All right. Okay. Okay guys, so hopefully if you watched my last cam install video, you'll see a dot here, dot there. I got them lined up. I've got my cam gear bolt loose, so I'm just gonna take this off, and then I can slide off the timing set. There she is. That comes off way easier than the new one goes on. <laughs> we fought with mine getting mine on, so that's it. Now we'll take off the plate three bolts just make sure you pay attention to where this is and we'll take this off also gonna have to lift out our distributor gear so you kind of just get in here and pop it up like that but make sure you pay attention to orientation it's gonna pretty much go front to back but just slightly turns towards this number one cylinders where you're gonna want to have to put it back in but there she is she's out all right guys, so the cam's ready to be pulled. We got the plate off, we got the bolt in the front, so you're gonna have to just kind of pull it and turn it at the same time. You're gonna have to keep rolling it. You have to lift it back too. Just go slow though. That's it. That is a stock cam with about 90,000 miles on it, right? Give or take. <laughs> Something around there. Yep. So his is in better shape than mine was, but 
we'll fix that. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you where we're at and then we're gonna wrap up this video. So cam is out, lifters are out, heads are off, and we're just about ready to start the new assembly. And that's gonna be the second video that you guys are gonna have to wait to see. So Jason's getting all the stuff here and I'll show you guys what we got. So we've got brand new lifters sitting here. We're gonna comp cams and uh, I don't know if this is a secret, but we'll share all the specs on the next video if we're allowed to. And here's the Indy X heads. So these are all ready to go. We got them back from the machine shop. Brian at IMM got these all sorted out for us. He went through them. I think he put new uh, valve guides in it and just made sure they're ready to go. So these are ready to bolt on. New cam. He's got ARP head studs, gaskets. We're not gonna use the old timing set. We got a, you have a double roller, right? Yeah, I got a double roller in here somewhere. So we got all that stuff coming, you guys. So you don't wanna miss it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up guys. It does help the YouTube algorithm so that we can get this channel to grow and we'll get more projects on the, on the way as well. So make sure you give a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.